What's up, family? Welcome to Ask the Minds. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. This right here is my amazing wife, Fiona. And this right here, this is my oh-so-intelligent husband, Ayize. All right, y'all, we're going to get right into it. Um, we had a question uh, come in, and I'm going to read it, and I'm going to try to be brief, but I'm, I'm going I'm to read it a little bit here. This uh, young lady says, hi, I've been watching your YouTube videos for a while, and I've had a certain situation that I've been battling for almost a year with my ex. My ex and I began dating last year in January. We've known of each other for a few years prior, but in January, when we came back into contact, we decided to become a couple. Everything was going very well, except there was one problem. He had an ex, and that ex and he were together for about three years. He said he was done with the relationship. You know, he didn't want to be with her anymore. So as time went on, this young lady said she never really felt comfortable about the situation. And she said it was always a hindrance in our relationship. And she doesn't say why she didn't feel comfortable. She just said she wasn't. And it was always a hindrance. Um, as time went on, six or seven months into the relationship, uh, she said he seemed very depressed. And he never wanted to tell her what was going on. She finally figured it out. It all came down to him missing his ex. And wanting to be with her again. So that's exactly what he did. He went back to his ex and told her that it's just better for them to be together because they had history. Um, and he didn't want to hurt his ex because they had been together for so long. So now he's back with her. And what this young lady basically is asking us is this. He said, She says, you know, he'll call me from time to time and says that he feels stuck. And one time he even called and said, if I give him another try, he'll break up with her so that they can start over. Um, she says, the question that I'm asking is this. Is he just trying to have his cake and eat it too? Or is he genuinely confused about what he wants? Is he trying to make me the sideline? What is he doing? You know, something that's really, really interesting about this particular question, it kind of reminds me of a situation that I heard recently where um, it was actually a employee-supervisor type relationship. And, um, you know, the question was on the table, why is it that people slack, you know, as employees? Why do they slack mm -hmm. um, when it comes to performing their duties at work? And what was told to me was that, People perform to their level of expectation mm -hmm. and the level of inspection. That's right. So the level of expectation as well as the level of inspection can oftentimes determine how well somebody will perform. So as it pertains to your relationship here or pseudo-relationship, you know, what I'll say is that you need to make sure that you have some clear expectations on the table. Mm -hmm. You want to be in relationship with a dude that takes a declarative position and is very decisive about being with you. Right. You don't want somebody right. that's like half-assing it and is unsure whether or not he wants to be in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. So again, you want somebody to be decisive, mm -hmm. clearly wanting to be in a relationship with you. And again, you know, the level of expectation should be one where it's you and only you. Mm -hmm. Not you and his ex, but you and only you. And if you inspect him and whether or not he's able to perform to that level, that'll give you a clear picture as to whether he is the one for you. Right, right, right. So, so the question you ask is, is he um, genuinely conflicted? Is he really feeling stuck? Is he really going through? You know, I get a sense that she wants to know, you know, is he just stringing me along? You know, am I really just being set up to be a side piece? Or is he really having some struggle here where he genuinely feels um, connected and obligated to his, his woman that he's been with for some time? And he also has a connection with you and... You know, she wants to know, and oftentimes women want to know these things, you know, because that's, that's, that's you know, that's, that's feelings, that's emotion, and, and, and so, you know, what is he going through? Is it real? And so, so, I cannot give you that answer. Perhaps he is. Many times, not just him, but a lot of folks, mm -hmm. we get stuck in situations where we stay committed to drama. We mm -hmm. stay committed and connected to things that are not working out for us. We become intimately involved with the dysfunction mm -hmm. that is happening in our lives. And so we can sit here and try to analyze whether or not the stuff is real. You can sit and wonder why you go going to work when you you're at work in the middle of the day, when you're out on the weekend, you know, when he texts you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wonder what's really going on with him. You can do that. But what I would say to you is that that is time that you do not need to be given to him. Yeah. It does not matter if it's legitimate. Mm -hmm. It does not matter if it's real. What matters is this. It's what my husband said. You 
have expectations. You know what you need in your life. So the question is, why are you entertaining him? Why are you engaging him? If 25, 35, 50, 75, or 85 percent of your time is focused on him, entertaining the foolishness, entertaining the drama, no matter how real and heartfelt it is, you cannot open yourself up for anyone else. So maybe he doesn't really want to have you for a side piece. Maybe his intention is real and he really wants to be with you. But at the end of the day, if he's not coming correct, if he doesn't meet your criteria, if you don't have any non-negotiable standards, then he will play with that for as long as he can, whether conscious or subconsciously, because you allow him to. And the fact that you ask the question says to me, you're not clear about what you need, what you want, what you will stand for, and what you will not stand for. So we're going to give it back to you. You, my dear sister, you need to put yourself first. You need to make space for someone else by first focusing on you. Don't trip. He's not the one. Move on. Stop playing and start pushing.